little bit more, looking to add a super heavyweight championship to his already impressive resume. This crazy Hawaiian attempts to keep his unbeaten power slap record intact when he meets Camille Marusaros. A slap fighting pioneer, the crazy Hawaiian made his way to the power slap stage for the first time in July. And after a three round scrap with Micah Sayuli, he cemented his place in the super heavyweight rankings. Tonight, the pride of Hawaii looks to continue his quest for a world title when he battles Camille Marusarge. A young gun of the division at just 26 years old, Chicago's Marusarge may not have the experience of his opponent, but he certainly has the power. And with a win over one of the sport's legit stars, the polar bear may find himself in the title conversation sooner rather than later. Coming up next, the crazy Hawaiian faces Camille Polar Bear Marusars. There is the polar bear, Camille Marusars. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com. We asked him about the crazy Hawaiian. He said he's not impressed, predicted a first round knockout. He has been very serious. I've seen him around the hotel. Not a lot of socializing focused on tonight. Yeah, but listen. You know, he's kind of new to this, and he said, I had terrible form, terrible technique. So he's worked on cleaning all of that up, obviously lifting weights and all that type of stuff. Actually started doing yoga, which has helped with his rotation and his torque. And last time I, I said he was a bit of a mummy's boy, and he said his mum got a real thrill out of that. So he begged me, he said, please call me a mummy's boy again, because my mum will love it. So shout out to Mummy Marasage back home in Chicago. But you know, I, I've said this a few times tonight. Power slap is really changing some of these people's lives for the better. And here, Camille Marasage is another example. He said, listen, I have got rid of so many negative influences. Some of my old friends, good guys, put a bad influence on me. I was partying too much. I've stopped doing all that. I'm on the straight and narrow. I'm losing weight. I'm lifting weight. And he's here to slap some face. Indeed he is. Also lifting a lot of bricks. A full-time bricklayer says it makes his hands really tough. The crazy Hawaiian 33-year-old Lane Koa Viernes, but all you need to know is it's the crazy Hawaiian. He said in his first power slap match, he felt like a, a virgin again. Big stage, big production. He's looking forward to this one, Charlie. Uh, yeah, he is a veteran that you are right about, but he said making his debut in Power Slap last, last month made him feel like a freshman all over again because it's such a massive stage. He said he had chicken skin while making his walkout, which, guys, translation, it means goosebumps. He said his family and friends are so supportive of his path here that this time around they're hosting watch parties literally all over the country in his home state of Hawaii, his current city of Springfield, Missouri, and even, of course, right here in Las Vegas. And get this, his training method, this is the best part, letting his kids spin him around and around in an office chair until he gets extremely dizzy, then he stands up, hits the bob, and his wife watches his feet to make sure he doesn't foul. It's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it's an old school technique, Charlie. You're not in gyms these days, but people do do that. You know, they spin you around, they get you dizzy, they get you discombobulated before you start slapping the bobs. You know, and he's trying to replicate that feeling of being dazed and confused, and then obviously you got to throw a clean shot. Listen, the crazy Hawaiian is no stranger to this. He's got a record now of 14 and 1 outside of Power Slap, of course. He's a big man with big power, a massive reputation. But when you speak to this guy, He's a sweetheart. He's an absolute He's a teddy, teddy bear. bear. Yep. He's a teddy bear with a very impressive beard. He's waiting for an endorsement on that beard, by the way, still. It's coming. It's I have okay. a feeling oh, it's, it's going to be coming. coming. After uh, maybe win number two, if he can get it, he'll certainly have all the endorsements that he needs. The tail of the tape brought to you by Power Slap Mobile. Download the Power Slap Mobile game in the Apple App Store or Google Play today. These guys are monsters. 33, 400 pounds. Both of them have a 79-inch reach. Camille Maru Sars, the plus 240 dog in this one. The Chicago native extra motivated as he's taking on 
the crazy Hawaiian, one of the bigger names in the sport. Justin Bernard, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Super Heavyweight Division and presented by Anthem Snacks, a veteran-owned meat snack company, Anthem Snacks, fuel your freedom. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 307 pounds. Out of Chicago, Illinois, he is a number five ranked super heavyweight contender in the world, Camille. Polar Bear Marusage! And now, in the red corner, he stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 399 pounds. Out of Springfield, Missouri, by way of Bainai Hawaii he is a number two ranked super heavyweight oh, contender in the world. Go. The crazy Hawaiian. Wow. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Kerry Hadley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Camille Marusage. The crazy Hawaiian going to be on the receiving end first, coming in as a minus 320 favorite. Maru Sars plus 240. Elected to go first. And he's going to get the first lick here. Right hand on three, you must measure. Right hand on three. Maru Sars gets to go first. Look at the catchers. Three catchers. <laughs> he's a big old boy. Let's take a look. Look at this. And it's a foul. It was a foul. It was a poor blow. It was an epic fail. But the crazy Hawaiian wags the finger, gives him a smile. I mean, that has got to be very intimidating. Imagine that. To have a shot and you get called for a foul, that was a little bit of a love tap. That was also a club. It was a love tap. A bit of a club, but it was a bit of a, dare I say, kind of leaned into it a bit as well. But great showmanship from the crazy Hawaiian, or should I say, da crazy Hawaiian. Innovation the refunds, the fighting for America's yeah. small businesses every day. Yeah. Yeah. Got him? Yep. All right, bro. Hand and count. He's really been working on his technique. Michael Sardi cut you off. He's three. also used to this three. stage. Yep. And all those other promotions, you can step, you can club, you can do a lot of things you can't do here in Power Slap. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he shakes it off. Oh, wow. Oh, he wow. pissed off. Look at that. that. He bumps his back in style. Almost goes down, throws the stick. He's like, nah, 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 nah. We ain't going out like that. I haven't come all this way to get knocked out like a little bitch. Marisage is back in the game. The crazy Hawaiian's brother, who has also competed in Power Slap. Ryan Phillips, who is coaching the blue corner. Look at this here. It looks like he's done. Boom, look, the legs go, they catch him, and then straight away, like, get your hands up here. Okay, yeah, I've seen that before. Exactly. It was like a flash knockout. Came back very quick. He's gonna have to hit him harder this time. It's as simple as that. Well, yeah, he needs to do better than the first round because I'm not being funny. And I'm sorry if Mrs. Marisage is watching back in Chicago, but that slap wasn't good enough. There's just not a lot behind that, Michael. Is that I will eat that all day. Oh, man. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. You get to hit someone as hard as you can. And by the way, you were almost just knocked out. You were like pretty much unconscious for a split second. And then he says, I will eat that shit all day. Let's see if he eats here. Well, I don't know if he's going to. I have a feeling the crazy Hawaiian might be eating. Let's see. He's going to be tasting victory, I think, after this one. I could be wrong. 
your measure. One. Here we go, he's worried. Oh, he rocks him again. Oh, stumble! He's doing the stanky leg. Doing a little break dancing. He was. But he's good to go. He doesn't shake it off quite as quickly this time around. Doing the stanky leg. He's doing some funky little dance moves over there. You know what I mean? Go on. For a big man, he's got some moves. Check this out. Look, look, look at this. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> He's at the disco. <laughs> he was putting on a little dance for a minute. <laughs> Get your dancing shoes on, buddy. <laughs> King Ryan Phillips still coaching up Maru Sars. Look at him, look at him. Look at the crazy Hawaiian just like talking to him as he's Ready? recovering. Everything you have, brother. Give him all the power that you got, brother. All the power that you got. I don't give a fuck what you do. Fighter set, fighter set. All right. Ryan Phillips, like, get all okay, the power you've got. Three. He's like, that's Coach a good game plan. Point. What do you think I'm doing over here? <laughs> okay, hand <laughs> count. I want more. Right hand on three. All right, right three. Measure. First lap, Camille Marussars. He needs this one big. <laughs> Sounded better. It's it's the wicked grin from the crazy Hawaiian. You know, it's so evil. It is. After he eats, he just looks at him like, you're nothing. Just kind of staring a hole through his like, soul. Is that the best you've got? He's just so big. I mean, what size neck do you think that is? Like a 22? It's ridiculous XL. <laughs> oh, he's. He's trying to get the whole body in oh, 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 pounds. The massage is like, that's going to be intimidating. Okay, five or six. Like, there's a very good chance you're about to get knocked unconscious. Live on TV, in front of the whole world. You know it's coming. There's nothing you can do. You can't back out of it, otherwise you're a little bitch. But here it comes. Oh, he cracks it this time. Night, night, Camille. to his feet. Fair play. Big respect. Hey, he has a chin on him, man. Hey. He took some big shots. Massive shots. I'll say this about the crazy Hawaiian. He was pissed off. He didn't get the knockout last time. Was hunting for the knockout this time. And Maru Sars survived. Yeah, Maru Sars just survived. I mean, he showed tremendous heart there. Because every single time he was hurt, he was almost out. But there you go. I mean, it's a clear shutout every round for the crazy Hawaiian. Marasaj, as I said, big heart, you know, tremendous fighting spirit, but just didn't have the power tonight. There's Wolverine, light heavyweight champion, coming over to shake hands with Maru Sars tonight. Recovery of the night brought to you by Slate Milk. Fuel up with Slate's delicious high-protein drink. Slate makes you strong. He did recover, I'm telling you. I thought he was slept. But he gets right back up after a couple of seconds. I mean, that was only just up. I mean, he was almost done. He's like The Undertaker, man. Just rises from the dead. Like Fury versus Wilder. Gets right back up to his feet. So the crazy Hawaiian is now 2-0. Still searching for that first knockout. It's going to be coming in the near future, I would imagine. And now for the official decision presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. All right, let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 30-25, 30-24, and 30-24 for the winner by unanimous decision from Waianae, Hawaii, the crazy Hawaii. The crazy Hawaiian now improves to 15 and one overall. He is two and zero in power slap. His brother also in power slap here looking on. Gets a hug from Ryan Phillips as he makes his way to Charlie Arnold. Yeah, and listen, he's got a lot of support in the building. Of course, we're in the Ninth Island. 
but they were 10 8 rounds, I think, a lot of them. Absolutely smashed it. Great performance. It was an impressive performance by the crazy Hawaiian. At some point in the very near future, there's going to be a super heavyweight belt handed out, and he could very much be fighting for that. I, I want to see him against the super heavyweight that was on earlier. Who was it? Uh, Kalani Bakamalelo. Oh. That's a matchup I want to see. But let's look at this action here because the crazy Hawaiian, massive power. Sat him down every time. Fair play, Marisage. As I say, the mommy's boy. Shout out mom up there in Chicago. She's the biggest fan. Hard work watching that. There's MMA junkies John Morgan. First question, man. <laughs> There's one dude losing his mind. People, look at that woman there. She can't believe it. That girl almost spilled her drink. There's Richard Wilk. Oh, from Circa. Barry there Steakhouse. we go. People loving it. Let's send it over to Charlie Arnold. Guys, thank you. Here with the winner, the crazy Hawaiian. No contest there. Offense, defense, you were dominant, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to be dominant in this sport for a long time, baby. I'm here to stay, baby. The king of super heavyweights is here to stay. First of all, I'd like to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pray for Maui. We love you, Hawaii. This one's for my dad. Just got out the hospital. He's at home watching right now. That was for you, Dad. Let's go. Well, that's got to feel so good. And, and you have to feel so accomplished because you were so close to getting the knockout all three rounds. Yeah, they, that, that's one. I tell you what, that's one tough boy. You can st stand there and take my slaps, almost get knocked out, stand up for the count. It's a sport, man. Welcome to slap fighting, baby. And as far as uh, your defense is concerned, do you attribute that to you having a strong chin or were his slaps really just not hitting as hard as he would have liked them to? I mean, I, slap your mattress. That's how it feels to slap me. I'm just a big body. Come on now. I love cuddling. So <laughs> come cuddle with me, baby. I don't, know if, I don't know if anyone wants to cuddle with you. You're, you're kind of a scary guy, as we just saw. As long as you guys got my Mac salad, baby. Smack salad served all around, baby. Let's go. Hawaii stand up, baby. It's our game. Okay, so a super heavyweight title could be in the near future here in Power Slap. That's definitely something I'd imagine you would want to vie for. Yeah, of course. Make that belt size extra wide. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on now. I like put them around my waist where I get left of my waist, but I'll put it on my shoulder for now. Make my belt, Dana! Dana, you, you heard the man. Make his belt. Congratulations to you. Let's go, baby. Calling out all the super heavyweights everywhere, baby. Let's go. Sign up. Let's go, baby. All righty, guys, back to you. That post-fight interview brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com.